again, would you like to see that again? Sure, sure, Bulls. Alright, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 118 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, Einie. Hey, boy, get in there. Got a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. He's still in the dark. Like he said he was. You got that thing hooked up to the... You got that thing hooked up to the... Car? Watch this. Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me! The car! The car! My calculations are correct. My calculations are correct. And this baby hits 88 miles per hour. You're gonna see some serious shit. Watch this, watch this! is when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You, you put your dog in a time machine? We have a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it in some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! Uh, Doc? Uh, Doc? That's peculiar. Oh, uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Uh, well, what happened, Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Notebook. 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 Got it. Flux capacitor? What the That's it! Capacitor? What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention! The thing that makes time travel possible! In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic! Let's see. It's mass equals i times z, and e equals the square root of z times c squared, and the flux dispersal rate is inversely proportional to the four Consequences could be catastrophic? Whoa. Deja vu. I'm 
sorry, Marty. Come back! Doc! Come back! Doc! Is everything okay? Yeah, Mom. I, yeah, Mom. I, it was it was just a nightmare. Uh, it was in the past. And Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get off. But you'd better get off. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc? Holy crap! I'm late. Are we too late to stop the sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right to. Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage. And hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. These things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty. Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... Nah, I guess I'm just... Remembering. Remembering. Hope that wasn't poison gas or anything. Hey, Biff. Hey, Biff. Hi, Marty. I'm looking for something. Uh, I'm looking for something uh, in particular. Something valuable. Yeah. Something valuable. Uh, uh. What are you doing here? What are you well, doing here? Well, I was as bummed as anybody to hear that the old nutcase had kicked it. He's not. But I'm not above picking through the remains. You know what they say? Don't look a gift horse in the butt. That's not dead. Doc's not dead, you know. He's still around. Do you see oh, really? Do you see him around here? Uh, never mind. Uh, never mind. Looks like a hand crank lightning. Looks rod. like a hand crank a hand lightning, lightning rod, or maybe a lightning-powered pencil sharpener. Let's make some noise. Let's make some noise.
It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. He's dead. Who's running this sale anyway? Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. Oh, that'd be me, son. You. Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know... Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. You got Doc wrong. You got Doc wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That's just because his mind's always on bigger things. But he's still a straight-up guy. He'd never run away from his problems. Well, you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them all. What's Biff doing here? He wasn't a friend of Doc's. It's a public sale, Marty. Everyone's allowed. Even Biff. Do you think dreams can... Do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff, but I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. What did you dream? Oh, just weird stuff yeah, about Doc. Well, that's understandable, don't you think? I guess, but I feel like it was telling me something. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Does nature contrive it so that even with a time machine, you can't intervene to prevent your own conception, for example? I better stick around. Doc. I better stick around. Doc might have left something important behind. And he wouldn't want it to end up at Biff's place. I better not crank it up anymore. I really don't want to blow this thing out again. Doc built this model of downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? That looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Can I see that model courthouse for just a second? I need to get something out of it. Like what? A not guilty verdict? That was a joke. That was a joke. Oh, can I? Oh really, can I? No, I think I'll hold on to it. Give it here, Biff. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, looky what well, we have well, here. Looky what we have here. Looks like plans for something. Looks like plans What's for something. Catheter? What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me to... Clown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Ah. Doc must have whipped up some crazy compounds in that cauldron. Oh, that smells like beef stew. Oh, that smells like beef stew. Hey, Biff. Hey, Biff. It's just a notebook of Doc's scribblings. It's just a notebook of Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Yeah, Nothing. Worthless, right? yeah, then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't, want, really it worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. I only want that notebook because, well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead. 
Doc, dead. Time to get over it and move on. That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? You calling me ignorant? I'll pay you for it. I'll pay you for it. How much? Not enough. I'll pay you for it. I'll pay you for it. How much? Not enough. I just can't let you keep that notebook. I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What? Is it set to explode or something? Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. I'll take my chances. Uh, never mind. Uh, never mind. I'll probably never know what this is for. I'll probably never know what this is for. Hey, Dad. Why is my, hey, guitar, Dad? Got Why is my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Problem? Problem? Biff? Biff? He's got this thing, see, and I really need to get it back. If he stole something from you... No, it, it's one of Doc's notebooks. Yeah, he found it first, but... Oh, well, then I'm not sure what to tell you. I guess you'll just have to appeal to his better angels or something. Or something. That notebook is Doc's legacy. I've got an obligation to protect it. Now, hold on a minute. Didn't you just get done telling me Doc's still around? Off traveling somewhere? Yeah. Then how is it your obligation to protect his legacy? You can't have it both ways, Marty. If Doc's alive, he can protect his own legacy. I'll keep... I'll keep... Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Let me show you how it's done. Let me show you how it's done. Now, Biff, I think that's Marty's guitar. Oh, gosh, you're right, Mr. McFly. Here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. And now, something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. Biff, I thought I told you not to take my son's guitar. Oh, right. Sure thing, Mr. McFly. I was just warming them up for you, Marty. Let's see what you got. Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Now that is now a that amp. is a dangerous amp. Seems kinda empty without the courthouse. Seems kinda empty without the courthouse. Let me try, Marty. Hey, let me try, Marty. Now, Biff. Let now, Marty Biff, let Marty you have his it, turn. You got it, Mr. McFly. Hey, Biff. Hey, Biff. Uh, never mind. Uh, never mind. I'll probably never know what the... I'll probably never know what the...
I better not crank it up anymore. I really don't want to blow this thing out again. He's dead. About Biff. Dad. About Biff. Dad. I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle it. So can I. I guess you can. I guess you can. Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. You know where to find me. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. You want to hear a number by Biff and the Biff Tones? Always happy to play for my adoring fans. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. Back on, Biff. Back on, Biff. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ah, Doc. Ah, Doc. Where are you? Where do you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? Retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I programmed the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, come to my rescue in the past. Or was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please, take the DeLorean back, or forward, to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure That's out it? what to do. That's it? Aren't you going to tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark, last time departed. Good luck. Right, right, last time departed, last time departed. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, Crap! Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Okay, Doc. I know I haven't seen you. Okay, in a few Doc. Months, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Looks like the time circuit still works. Looks like the time circuit still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. This time traveling shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. This notebook has all of Doc's plans for the flux capacitor and never falls into and by wrong. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuit. Once I... Once I...
What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? I probably shouldn't fill with the time circuits again it's again until I know when to look for Doc. Probably shouldn't fill with the time circuits again until I know when to look for Doc. About this shoe, Great Scott! I think he's Great onto Scott! Something. I think he's onto something! Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc? How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einie? What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? Why couldn't Doc have invented a dog translator? Why couldn't Doc have invented a dog translator? something to show you. What is it? Let me see. This time traveling shoe, this is, time my traveling shoe is my Doc. only clue to finding Doc. Man. Nah. Related to uh, Vice Principal Strickland, are you, ma'am? Not that it's any of your business, but I'm his sister, Edna. Oh, and you're one of those McFly slackers, aren't you? Yes, uh, what's old man Strick? I mean, what else has your brother been saying about me? Nothing I couldn't have deduced for myself, slacker. I'm not a hooligan, ma'am. I'm not a hooligan, ma'am. I'm a... A teenager. I wasn't born yesterday, young man. Aren't you the miscreant who skateboards through town square every morning between 8 and 8.30 in a decidedly unpunctual manner? Uh, yeah. All skateboarders are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Stay your business. Stay your business, child. You're making me miss Murph. Well... See, that's the thing. I'm not sure why I'm here. Einstein here brought me, and... Well? Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. I 
think so. I don't think so. What the fuck? I haven't gone all day. It's fucking recorded. Uh, yeah. 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 Can you let me in? I've what got something it? to show you. What is it? Let me see. Use item. I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. This notebook has all of Doc's this plan for fall. I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. Bars Mr. Figgins put on the windows. Very secure. I haven't gone all day. I haven't gone all day. That automatically does it. Uh, you're trying my Dude, patience, I don't know what to shoot young you. man. Can you let me in? I've Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me you see. You don't make this game simple. I don't think that picture's gonna do anything. I don't think that picture's gonna do anything but confuse people. Um, uh, private. Einstein. Well, well, took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Much better. Mm, much better. So neat and orderly. Nah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. 
but... Sorry, I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Uh, Have a seat, Sonny. Hey! You kid! Put out those cigarettes! My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. Mind if I take a look? Mind if I take a look? Go ahead, dear. And these are powerful. I can see Biff going into the video store. You wouldn't believe the filth that boy watches. Yeah, he's nothing but an out-of-control hedonist, just like his father. If there's a clue to find a doc out there, I'm not seeing it. I don't even know where to start looking. Uh, Miss Strickland? Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree! Yes? Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Remember when you lost your shoe? That shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! Oh, that shoe! Yeah. Hi, what a nosy no Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. But, oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh, yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. When was it? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. A speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. Wow, speakeasy. Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch... No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt Aunt Fanny! Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two right things about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. The video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. Following year, as I recall. What? So did you buy tickets for something? Oh, you can't buy them yet. They're just selling tickets for Australia right now. You can't buy them until like a month before. Like, literally. Alright, go to commonchews.com, you'll see the uh, dates. Yeah, I saw, I saw. Yeah, you can only buy tickets for, like, and they're, uh, you can only buy tickets and they're having it, like, for this month and next month. That's it. And so, I don't think he's that big. Because if you look at his Facebook page and stuff, he's not that big, so I don't think we have to worry about anything. What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue? From 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. 
I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. Yeah, I probably wrote it myself. I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Doing some stargazing? Doing some stargazing? Oh, I set my sights on things. Lower things. Is that? Jim! 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 Get away from that hubcap before I call your father! This is like a sequel to the show. Don't let me. The movie. The movies. You there! You there! Don't even so think far. about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! I guess I have to have sex with her to make her happy. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ms. Pretty Whiskers is very particular about who handles her food. Why do we always have cats? Cat trophies. What are these? What are these? My editorial trophies. Cat lovers quarterly. It's legitimate journalism. Uh, Miss Strickland, how about your tea? You forgot to turn on the... It's spelled with a U, you illiterate vandal! I gotta go tell her to turn it on so she leaves to go to the newspapers, I bet. Uh, such a bad thing. Excuse me, Miss Strickland. Excuse me, Miss Strickland. Those. You fucking dumbass bitch. Fucking dumb programmers who made this. Look, I can only walk this fast too. As fast as I can go. That tea's never gonna boil. 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 Strickland lost, that Strickland lost that shoe the day the speakeasy burned down. But when was that? I didn't even know they gave out trophies for I didn't even know they gave out trophies for best litter columnist. I didn't even know they gave out trophies for best litter columnist. Is that Vice Principal Strickland? Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. Man, she keeps it hot in here. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. And don't touch anything. Juveniles collide with manure trucks. <laughs> nice picture. Brown Mansion destroyed. Brown Mansion destroyed. 1962. Oh no, that's not where Doc's stranded. All right, Einstein brought me this shoe, and Miss Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy burned down. But when did the speakeasy burn down? I at least need to know the year. Verm announces plans for Lone Pine Mall. Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. I wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Clint Eastwood plunges to death on runaway train. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. I wish I could narrow it, narrow it down to a year at least. Hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. Oh, 
rebuilt in February. Rebuilt in February, 1932. The fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. What a good joke. I told you not to touch those. We're gonna have to act like he's busy again, lady. Here, let me just do fire this bad boy up. There's the whistle. There's the whistle. Surely the water's boiling by now. Any good reviews on any good uh, thing? Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his. Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. My newspaper! My newspaper! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let me. Oh, you've gotten my history out of order. Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Where have you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? Uh, didn't I tell you? Uh, didn't I tell you? I, I got the lead in the school play. Uh, we're doing... Grapes of Wrath? Right. Oh, Steinbeck. Who are you playing? Um, uh, Never mind, you don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? I hope so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You barely know I was gone. Ready to go, Einstein? Ready to go, Einstein? How's this game lying? I've got to turn on the time circuits first. There. Time circuits. Time circuits. Flux on. Flux capacitor. Uh, fluxy. Okay. If Doc's gonna okay. get killed, if Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931, I'll just show up the day before and get him out. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc.
Those crickets are so loud. They're in the game? Yeah. <laughs> that keeps on loading. Yeah, it's the fucking game. It keeps on lagging and shit. Einstein. Einstein, where'd you go now, you go boy? Now, boy? It still thinks it's that nighttime scene. This game is so poorly made. Back to the future. the only man in the street, and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction. Naturally, you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment. I read about it, yeah. What's your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years, namely, rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor? Uh... You can mark me down as a supporter, the young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. Do you have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets, no doubt plotting to corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin, and debauchery? Ask him where I can get the address. Ask him where I can get the address. Ah, I see! Because you want to blast it to smithereens just like Carl Sagan did. With public-spirited citizens like you around, the lawless element will be on the run in no time. Mr... May I get your name? Yeah, it's... Michael Corleone. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Corleone. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. I know. I met you back. I mean, I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet! I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better... Einstein, no! Down, boy! Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before! What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times. It's the law. Look it up! I gotta find Doc. I gotta find Doc. It's like playing, it's like reading a really bad book.